Hey everybody, uh, today we're going to do a tutorial on how to make a Hackintosh for your PC. It's basically using Mac um, version 10.7.2. Um, this is an uh version. Basically, first thing you want to do is just Google uh, Nyresh Mac OS X 10.7.2. You get it off Pirate Bay or wherever else. There's lots of places you can get it. Download that, uh, burn the ISO file onto a DVD. Um, I also put it onto a USB drive, but uh, for our sakes, we want it on DVD anyway, so install it. Um, the first thing we want to do, turn on your computer, insert the DVD. Once you do that, uh, just go into your BIOS configurations. You got to change a couple things. Um, so make sure your first boot device is switched to uh, CD-ROM or your DVD, whichever optical drive you're using, and then put hard disk as your secondary boot device. Uh, this is what we want for the first time when we install it. So uh, it installs off the CD. So just put it on CD-ROM because my DVD is not showing up there. And then switch the second boot device to hard disk. Um, then you want to go and change your hard drive from IDE to H A H C I so that the Mac can read it. And there's another place. I have to change it here as well. And then the last thing to do is change it to 64-bit mode for me. And those are the only things you have to do in the BIOS for this to work. So now I'll just save the settings and reboot the computer. Alright, so now it's rebooting. This way is the easiest to do it as well because you don't need an iBoot CD um, or you don't really have to use MultiBeast after for post installation. Um, the only thing you have to do is I found in the version that I downloaded um, that the Chameleon package for the boot ROM after um, didn't work, didn't unpack. So you just have to download um, the newest version of that for it to work. So right here you want to press a key, any key gives you five seconds only so pay attention um, that puts you into the CD's boot mode so yeah the writing keeps going fuzzy to non fuzzy because it's uh, dark where I'm filming it then you'll get this screen with the black Apple logo and uh, with the spinny device underneath um, the first time I saw this I th thought it was like frozen because it was doing this for like more than five minutes so I rebooted but it actually takes up to like 15 minutes or so um, for it to get to the next screen so I'll just pause it here so don't get worried if you guys see this just let it go it takes about you know up to like 15 minutes for it to work so I'm just gonna pause it here and then we'll continue alright so then after about 15 minutes, the logo disappears. You get a little rainbow loading thing, scroller. Then it pops into uh, this window, or just is what language you want to use. So I just push English as the default. And it starts its little loading process. The only thing I would switch in this video, other than everything else, um, to do pretty much exactly the same is when we actually install it um, I'll let you know again once you get to that window uh, there's also a customization so this is the only version the Nyresh's version that you're able to customize installation so I actually switched um, if you want it easier for sound and network configuration so you can get the internet right off the bat um, is actually going into um, the customization which you'll see after 
after I do this. Um, and then that'll allow you to install the sound driver if uh, your sound driver shows up there and your network driver, which I both did. So instantly once this was installed, um, I had access to the internet and sound. So I suggest you do that so you don't have to use MultiBeast because um, I know MultiBeast, uh, the first time I tried to install this, um, it gave me a kernel panic and I had to uh, redo the whole installation. So just FYI. All right, so we want to go into utilities and then disk utility. Um, this allows us to format our hard drive because this is the second time of me doing this. I already have a partition, but if you don't and you just have a hard drive, um, if there's information on it, you want to erase it first. If not, you just want to create a new partition. So see how I have a 500 gig hard drive, but I also have a partition called Mac on it already. So I'm not going to make a new per, uh, partition. I'm just going to erase the old install that I had on it. So click on the Mac. Um, and I will go erase. And make sure the format is Mac OS Extended Journaled. And then you can name it whatever. I just named it Mac. So I'm just going to erase it because I had previous crap on it. But otherwise, you would just go to click on your hard drive above the Mac, which I have there, and click on Partition. So it's done. So yeah, if you click on this and you go Partition, you'd see it says Current. You just scroll down and click 1, name it Mac or whatever you want, and then push Partition. That's the only difference you do. Okay, so that's done now. Can get out of this back to the installation menu are ready to go uh, go to agree so now you pick your uh, whatever hard drive so I did the partition max I'm gonna click that so now here you could actually go to customize on the left um, which I did before um, before you push install if you want to um, have that instead of like multi beast which is an easier way to install sound and um, your network. So I suggest you do that. Uh, it doesn't show in this video, but I did it um, before. So I suggest you do that because um, I've had kernel panics with uh, multi beast I found. So that's probably the best way to do it. So it says it takes about 17 18 minutes. Um, it actually took about 40 minutes. So it's almost done now. So yeah, like I said, it takes about 40 minutes, not like 18. Um, so just FYI. But it's still quicker, I think, than Windows installation. Alright, so it says install succeeded. Nairish Lion 2.7.1 or 10.7.2, sorry. Um, installed there and it, it'll automatically reboot in like 10 seconds or you could restart it so there it automatically restarted at this point you want to keep the CD or DVD in the drive <coughs> um, then after that once you've done everything um, you do not need it anymore the only problem that I've had with this installation is where yeah this part basically um, so whenever I get to this screen I'll just push uh, delete to go into my setup for BIOS and change um, change it to hard drive instead of CD-ROM now because uh, the OS X is now installed on my hard drive um, but for some reason even when I updated um, Chameleon and install that to install, install like the boot ROMs and stuff. It doesn't save. Um, doesn't save the save the settings. So I always have to go into my settings when I reboot my computer, and make sure that the hard drive is the first booting device instead of CD-ROM. So I'll always do that little Nairesh picture screen unless you want to change that, which you could. And then I'll get to this screen.
which usually takes about 15 seconds or so, and then I'll boot you into your Mac operating system, your desktop or whatever. So the first time we get in here, we have to set everything up, obviously. So just pick your country, whatever. Uh, your keyboard language. Any information you have at this point, there's none. Apple ID. If you have an Apple ID, you can put it in if you want. I'm just going to skip this. You can always do it later. Um, I'm just going to skip registration as well. And then you could just uh, do whatever you want for your computer. So whatever name you want. Um, password. All that fun stuff. Uh, I should have got the wrong keyboard. Let me switch over. Alright. Let's call it Major Hackintosh. And the good thing about this also, right when you're done this, you could install, um, you could update it to 10.7.3 with no problems. We're set up computer, so you got the name, password every time uh, you boot into it, or every time you have to do um, some type of change where it needs uh, your authority. You got that set up. Uh, whatever, it doesn't matter. You can change this later. Yeah, sure. Okay, so now we just type in our password that we uh, made up there. And then we're in. Uh, f first time you come in, they'll just tell you to set up your keyboard. So, be like push. Uh, you gotta push the Z beside the Shift. I'm using a normal Windows keyboard at the moment as well. So, your Windows is your Apple and controls your command and all that stuff. Um, so the only thing I had to change, basically, right off the bat here, was the display. You couldn't see, see how you can't see the top bar. So just go to display. And we'll just move this bar over a bit so we can see it. And there we go. Other than that, because I customized the installation for my sound card and uh, network card, um, yeah. That was all good to go. Alright, so just restarted the computer. I installed, um, or I updated the software to 10.7.3, which you could do after installation. Um, I installed the new chameleon and I changed the stupid background from that spaceship to a nice little beach. Um, here's my specs, just so you can see processor memory. Uh, graphics card and the software again. Alright, so here is the chameleon zip that I downloaded from that website. It's in the description. 
So just unpack it, open it up, and basically just follow the instructions. Continue, continue, continue. Agree.